Right, we're on camera. Ben, Ben, we're on camera. Wake up. Ben, you have to start wearing pants one of these times. I know the viewers can't see you under there, but seriously, I do not want to look at your boxers all day. That's why we're looking at the camera, man. Well, I have to wear a shirt under here, too. Yes. Oh, that's that smell. Oh, oh sorry, viewers. Mm. Uh, oh. Good morning, America. This is News 11 on Channel 11 here. We have, I'm your host, Josh Jebediah. This is Kyle Mannheim, and that is, what are you doing? Yay. But it, we're going to introduce you now. And this is Detweiler Joba. Yay. We just call him DJ. It works better. Anyway, so um, today we are going to be talking about a lot of top stories. Ben, um, lead us off with international news in the Vatican. Yesterday, the Pope was blessing people. Unfortunately, he did forget his deodorant. Many people are in shock. It how was terrible. Unfortunate. Yeah, um, you were there. Tell us how it was. I honestly can't remember. Oh, uh, yes, um, uh, the reports came from people that people were passing out everywhere, and PU could be heard among many of the spectators. Well, oh, yes, weren't you one of the few that passed out once you smelt him and hit your head? Maybe that's why you can't remember. Maybe. It must be amnesia. Maybe Breaking news! It was just reported that a man made a gun made out of pennies to stop an assassination of the president. That is incredible. Tell, tell us more about this penny. Tell us about the assassination attempt. Well. You see, this man, he had a microchip in his head and he was going to assassinate the president because mm -hmm. the microchip was making him do it. And, well, they didn't have any guns around, but they did have a bunch of pennies, so they decided to make a penny gun. That's very interesting. Has the suspect's name been released? I can't remember exactly, but I believe it was something McFlufferton. McFlufferton. Oh, Kevin McFlufferton. That's yes, Kevin McFlufferton. He he was he was up on bail for murdering 23 minutes years ago. Yes, very bad homicide. Other than that, um, let's go to our minor stories. Um, we have who do we have next? We have we have we have a special guest with us, Benjamin. He's going to show us how to cook with socks. Ever since I took diagonal, my life has been different. Reading is a pleasure when I don't eat the paper. Life is more enjoyable. I get to cook. It's wonderful. I can make my favorite cheesecake. But seriously, folks, you should definitely consider buying Diagono. There are some serious side effects. Benefits. Benefits. Oh. Serious benefits. Benefits. Yes, that's thank you. Ben. ben, ben uh. Sit on them. Sit on them. Ah, 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 ah. Sit on them. Benefits, though. Ignorable side effects. Yeah. Hi, we are here on Channel 11 News, and uh, we're here with... Ben done cooking today. Now Ben has already been with us many times yeah. and today we're cooking one of his favorite sock soup. So Excellent. Ben, well, how do we start? Well first we need a sock. I've already started with the sock as you can see and started to marinate it a little bit. All right. Um, you're going to want to deodorize the sock a little bit first. So just spray, spray a little, a little bit. bit so just a spritz. So just we don't spritz. want to get too much. Right. And then, uh, I know my sock. You shouldn't be able to taste it in the air. Yeah, now, now we need a little bit of foot powder because socks stink. Absolutely. Yes, yes, of course. Put that in there. Now, uh, Ben, what else do we need? Um, needs, needs more salt. Salt? Yeah. Okay, and now, now our friends from Clubhouse has been generously donated all the food and all the preparation items. So, we'd like to thank Except them. Except for the socks. Yes. Needs more salt. More salt? Yeah. Mm. You know what it needs? More salt? No. Pepper. 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 That's not that's cayenne. Close enough. Here, we need there's pepper. There we go. Pepper. Alright, so uh, what else do you put in the soup when, before we finish it up? Hmm. Well, that's that's a good question. More I was thinking I was thinking about another sock, but another sock? Well uh I'm sorry, the clubhouse only provided us with one sock. Clubhouse provided us the socks? Yeah. Really? Oh. Yeah, it's from the it's from the big boss man himself. Excellent. Fifty years been um, worth a lot of money. What's this doing here? Bob? Oh, oh, this is this is the last ingredient, I believe. Electrical tape. You I can doubt always it. use some here. I doubt. No, it. no. Well, that's all right. So, uh, what else can we put in the soup? I think it's done. I Do you ever add carrots good. or potatoes or anything? No, nope. takes away from the flavor of the sock. Oh, all right. So just sock and spices. Yeah, I think you should try it. Oh, uh, I, I think I this should too. This is your sock. Oh, you, you definitely oh. need to try it. Uh, I, I think I'll. No, no, really. Here, let me try some. Okay. Get a little bit there. Excellent! Amazing, ladies and gentlemen. Buy sock soup today. Um, it's uh, it's uh, I hear Campbell's giving you a contract. 
Oh, possibly. Sock soup, you can buy it in the can. I mean, what is better? Thank you for joining us on News 11 today, and uh, up next, the world of curling and the world of sports on Channel 11 News. Oh, yes, I heard they were curling. We Rock. have sports? We, I know, we have sports. It's really incredible. We just got it today, so... Uh, yeah, so uh, tell hey, us about curling. sports? You know, somebody out there just go break into a bank, because we have absolutely no news to report right now. Yeah, well, well, what, about, what about... We're reporting sports. Sports is one of the most boringest things on the earth. Well, that's all right. I've got a story today. Faucets are on the move. Faucets everywhere demand equal rights. They want the right to vote, live and breathe, and visit who they want anytime they can be with They're demanding $500 billion with their rights to they're threatening to cut off all water supplies to major cities and families in this area. Farrah Fawcett is their leader, and we will have an interview with her later in the hour. I just went to the garden. It's a faucet. So, uh, Whoa. Well, oh, true. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, what happens if we buy a bottle of water? Well, I'm not really sure, because uh, they might have faucets in the main facility. Or taps. Taps. Oh, true. Well, all taps are safe, just to let you know. Yeah. And what if I go swimming? I can drink the water there? Yeah, it? yeah. Except uh, you get chlorine poisoning. Uh, yeah, well, that's no big deal. It's like three days in the hospital and severe. What?